Judy from Witch Peacecraft. Welcome to today's video. Yes, I'm out in my garden getting some fresh air. I've come home from work, showered, moved my makeup, changed in some daggy clothes. So I look like a bit of a dag, but hey, what the heck. I thought I'd do a bit of a video with you, sharing with you a uh, what I learnt this week and the pattern review, which I learnt it from. So the pattern I'm going to share with you today is the Debrilla Hat Pattern. A crocheted beanie by the dabbling hook I've had a few of her patterns before and I really like them I bought this about a month ago and put it to one side but when I had my disappointment last week of my acquisitions and plan project I just put that to the side moved on and found something new to do so I went back to this now I stuck strictly to this pattern I am notorious for starting a pattern and changing it and adapting it and then it ends up looking nothing like what the pattern is supposed to be but with this one I was determined to follow it strictly Ralph's patterns at the dabbling hook are really well written you get lots of um, stitch usage codes and terminology and links and the skill level of this pattern is easy so on with the pattern I may have to poise pause this video because there are a bit of life noises around late in the afternoon ah, back again we have a lot of air traffic at the moment we're about to go into school holidays and for those states that can come and visit us here in Cairns we are getting quite a few tourists which is great for the community a bit noisy in the garden at the moment because I do live under a flight path anyway back to the pattern so I did get out the four weight yarn and a five millimeter crochet hook. The yarn I used is Vanna's Choice um, in the color Scarlet. This is yarn that's been in my stash for a couple of years. And so it goes towards my Scorched Earth Challenge, which is a bonus. It is a lovely soft yarn. There is 170 yards and 156 meters in a ball. I had two balls of this. And I used nearly one whole ball to make the medium size. That is what's left. The sizing in this pattern is perfect. I made the medium because I am between a medium and large, but I like my hats to be firm on my head when I do wear them. I don't wear them often. And this one turned out perfect. It is exactly a medium because it's really nice and firm on my head without being too tight. So here is my finished object. Now on my model it looks a bit slouchy but I'll put a um, photo of me wearing it at the end so you can see. What did I learn from this pattern? Well skill level being easy you need to double crochet, half double crochet, chain, front post, back post. But there was one in there that I had not heard before and it is called the link double crochet. Now luckily Rel has a tutorial on her channel for you to check that out and I'll put that in the description below and I did and I practiced that and I do agree with that I really like it it is perfect for after your rib brim to do the link double crochet because it is not as holy as normal double crochet and I love it this hat is really textured with the front post the shell stitches and it is really nice and it's interesting to make that is the back I really like this pattern and I would make it again I give it five stars out of five I actually quite like Vanna's Choice which we can't get here I think I bought mine from a lime brand order when freight wasn't too bad but I didn't mind it it's really quite a nice um, yarn now the red I have a feeling the Debrilla hat was named after Debbie, the Canadian clotcheter, and she's from Canada, so red seemed appropriate to make the hat in. Guys, I hope you enjoy my review and you give the Debrilla hat a try. It is a paid for pattern available on Etsy and it may be available on Ravelry as well, but definitely there will be links in the description below. If you've made this hat, please leave a comment below and tell me what you think of it. I may give the large a go for someone else just to see what it turns out like. And the lady who runs the charity uh, Marcus Stalls Community 
I usually make her a hat every winter and she has a really small head so maybe I'll try the small as well. Guys until next time definitely a great pattern give it a go the Jabrilla hat by the Dabbling Hook. Okay bye for now take care stay safe remember life's an adventure so have one yarny adventure every day. Bye for now.